welcome to career guidance max playlist in this video i am going to start unit 1 partial differential equations in this partial differential equation first i am going to start lagrange's method if you know this lagrange's method now you will get one 8 mark definitely from your anna university exam so here the lagrange's linear equation represent capital p into small p plus capital q into small q is equal to r so you can compare this equation to our problem so in your problem they will give small p into one term small q into one term and right hand side equal to some values or left hand side maybe they will give so you have to compare this linear equation to the given problem identify the capital p capital q capital r so if you want to solve lagrange's linear equation enough to solve the subsidiary equation what is this subsidiary equation dx divided by capital p equal to dy divided by capital q is equal to dz divided by capital r when uh, comparing this uh, lagrange's linear equation to our problem we have to identify that capital p q r after finding that capital p q r you have to substitute those values in this uh, subsidiary equation once if you solve this subsidiary equation you will get two different type of values that is c1 c2 so after finding c1 c2 we have to write the general solution for this equation pi of c1 comma c2 equal to 0 so this is the process we are going to apply while doing problem in lagrange's equation in this lagrange's equation we will have two types first one is grouping method and second one is multiplier method so this grouping method is uh, most probably they may ask in two mark not in eight mark very rarely they may ask in uh, eight mark but in this multiplier method definitely 100% you will get one eight mark in university question paper okay so first i will give one example for grouping method then we will start multiplier method while doing problem in multiplier method we can apply grouping method also okay problem number 1 so solve p into x square plus q into y square is equal to z square by grouping method so i am writing the given equation p into x square plus q into y square is equal to z square so this equation i am going to compare our general lagrange's equation the lagrange's linear equation is capital p into small p capital q into small q is equal to r so compare this general to given problem so they here they given small p into x square that means when comparing these two here capital p is equal to x square and capital q is equal to y square and uh, right hand side term will be r both you can compare you will get uh, r is equal to z square okay so this is your capital p q r if you want to solve this you have to solve the subsidiary equation what is the subsidiary equation already you know that subsidiary equation that is uh, dx divided by p equal to dy divided by capital q and d is divided by capital r so which is your uh, subsidiary equation in the subsidiary equation i am going to substitute those p q r value so that is dx divided by x square equal to dy divided by y square equal to d z divided by z square this is your subsidiary equation here i am going to apply grouping method so consider this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 i am going to equate 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 or 3 and 1 we need only two values so first i am going to take 1 and 2 that is dx 
divided by x square and dy divided by y square. Here, this denominator term, I am going to shift to numerator. So, we can write x power minus 2 into dx equal to y power minus 2 into dy. Both side, I am going to integrate. Integrating x power minus 2 into dx is equal to integrating y power minus 2 into dy. Okay. So, after this, I am going to integrate x power minus 2 integration. You will get in, what is the integration formula? Integral of x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. This is minus 2 is n. We have to add with 1. So, integration with respect to x, n, x we have to integrate. So, you will get uh, x power uh, n plus 1 means minus 2 plus 1. You will get minus 1 divided by minus 1 is equal to y power minus 2 with respect to y integration y power minus 1 divided by minus 1. Here, we have to write one constant. Why? Because in partial differential equation, we are integrating, but here there is no limit. So, we have to put one constant. So, here both the term you will have minus commonly. So, that I am taking minus C1 constant commonly. Okay. So, now this x power minus 1 I am writing 1 by x is equal to y power minus 1 I am writing 1 by y. And uh, commonly, I will eliminate that uh, minus. So, I will get plus C1. So, that your answer is C1 equal to 1 by x minus 1 by y. So, this is for uh, C1 answer. So, correspondingly, we have to find C2. You can take 2 and 3. What is that? dy divided by y square is equal to dz divided by z square. Now, shift this y square to numerator, you will get y power minus 2 into dy is equal to z power minus 2 into dz. Integrating both sides, integral of y power minus 2 into dy is equal to integral of z power minus 2 into dz. Integration with respect to y, y power minus 2 integration, you will get y power minus 1 divided by minus 1 is equal to z power minus 2 integration z power minus 1 divided by minus 1. Already I told here there is no limit. It is partial differential equation. So, we have to put one constant that is I taken here C2. Here both the term you will have common term minus. So, I am taking here minus C2. When I am taking minus we can cancel commonly these three terms minus. So, y power minus 1 I am writing 1 by y is equal to z power minus 1 I am writing 1 by z. Commonly we can cancel that minus, you will get plus c2. From this we can able to find c2 is equal to 1 by y. Shift this 1 by z left hand side, you will get minus 1 by z. Is this your uh, c2? We need only c1, c2. No need to grouping again 3, 1, 2, 1. No need that. Okay, so this is called uh, grouping method. After this, we have to write the general solution. What is the general solution? The general solution is the general solution is pi of c1 comma c2 equal to zero. So here I am going to write pi of c1 is what pa one by x minus 1 by y and c2 is 1 by y minus 1 by z is equal to 0. So, this is our uh, final answer. We solve this from this sum by grouping method. So, p x square plus q y square equal to z square by solving grouping method now we have to compare our general equation to given problem. In that given problem, they may give capital P, Q, R value. We have to write that values and those values we have to substitute in a subsidiary equation. Then we have to group. That is very simple. How to group? Already I told that. You can take 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 or 3 and 1. Just you can integrate, you will get the answer. This is for uh, grouping method. The very simple one. While doing problem in multiplier method, we can able to apply grouping method also for finding one value whether c1 or c2 
we can't able to apply both grouping method in that multiplier while finding c1 c2 anyone for example we can find c1 by grouping method or c2 by grouping method they won't mention while finding values in multiplier method simply they will give solve this equation we have to apply multiplier method sometimes uh, we can apply grouping method also okay so once again i'm recalling this what we seen in this video so i started uh, lagrange's method in partial differential equation unit 1 this is very very important method for in this section you will get one 8 mark definitely 100 percent you will get one 8 mark if you know these concepts the very simple one you should uh, remember this uh, lagrange's linear equation capital p into small p plus capital q into small q equal to r in your problem they may give only p capital p capital q capital r you should identify we have to compare that uh, given problem and the general equation after that we can identify capital p q r and uh, if you want to solve that lagrange's linear equation you have to solve subsidiary equation what is that subsidiary equation dx divided by capital p is equal to dy divided by capital q is equal to dz divided by capital R. This is very very important. So, okay. And uh, after solving subsidiary equation, uh, we may write the general solution. What is the general solution formula? Pi of C1 comma C2 equal to 0. Here you have to substitute C1 C2 value. What is that C, C1 C2? While solving subsidiary equation, you will get both C1 and uh, C2. There must be a different value for not both same C1 and C2. Okay. So that is the main thing. In this, uh, you will have uh, two type grouping method and multiplier method. So in this video, we seen only grouping method. Already you know that how to solve grouping method is a very simple one. Next video, we will continue in uh, multiplier method. Thank you, Pa.